y'all. So this is what's going now. Clearly, I am blessed, okay? <laughs> Hey baddies and real ones, I hope y'all are doing amazing. It has been a minute for real, for real. But we finna chit chat, now let's get into my video. been constant rolling everything just rolling but i'm happy to be back here on this side of Dre's world i've been posting a lot of health and wealth content hair content but we got to just chill for right now um i got a full day ahead of me so enjoy the ride but aside from that it's the first full week of the month so i'm really just trying to get back in my flow of things especially after these last two weeks so we don't get into all that later, but um, let's get into this video. All right now, it is 8.41 in the morning. Um, I got a meeting at 11. So like I'm up trying to prepare and stuff like that. But I also have to go somewhere with my mama at nine. And I'm really hoping we back before this meeting start because I just, I don't like having like car conversations i don't know what it is i don't like talking on the phone in the car with other people in there with me or being like on zooms or anything it's just so weird to me but um oh great i was about to edit content for one of the clients and my thing is updating so i gotta wait but aside from that so this is a rundown of the day this is how I want the day to go, okay? So boom. First things first, I need to set my goals for the month. We five days in, I ain't got no goals. We got 25 days left, so I really need to get up on it. Uh, I need to, I have majority of, so this is the thing. I did a poll on my IG story like three weeks ago. And I was like, hey, like, what do y'all want to see for health as well? Because I already got the ideas. I just be trying to see what people want too. Because I'm going to post what I want to post regardless. But it's still always good to have, you know, the people that's watching you having their best interests at heart. So I'm not really planning on my videos, but more so deciding when I want to upload what. Um, so I got to get that done. 
then it's Tuesday. So if you don't know, I have a blog. Uh, it's called Dree Talks. And I literally, it's YouTube. Well, YouTube kind of came after my Dree Talks. So let me say, mm, think of it as the blog, but just in blog form. That's literally it. Uh, so today's topic is self-care and the title is self-care only on Sunday. So I got to finish that. Got to get it uploaded no later than 730. Uh, that is my new time for myself because I used to just upload it as long as I got it uploaded on Tuesday. But I'm like, I need people up and engaged. So outside of that, so we got the health as well. We got the blog. I have an appointment with my little sister today. So we got to do that. Y'all going to see that. Um, I ordered more shea butter. I literally just ran out of my Tree Hut uh, body cream. Well, Tree Hut body butter, even though it feels like a cream. So I'm literally probably gonna go the next two months just making my own and I have no problem with it. Y'all already know I like natural products anyway. So I'm gonna be making that. And then I feel like I'm missing something very, very, mm, my eyebrows. I don't know if y'all can see. Yeah, I'm gonna get my eyebrows together my hair together i'm tired of my braids so that's kind of the rundown of today all right so my blog has been uploaded go read that if you haven't already um the link will be in the description Okay, so after you watch this video, go read my blog. But Alea is about to wax my underarms. Hello. I'm nervous. I'm real nervous. Um, I am too. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I knew this was gonna cut this way. Come on. You ain't even got no real hair right here. You're about to make me mad. What did I do? Uh, girl, I need to. <laughs> it tickled. <laughs> Three. Okay, so she's still going. I just want to give my thoughts on this whole process. She needs to go to school before she do this again. She's coming. Hey, dude. Move up. All right, shut up. <laughs> yeah, what do you want to say? I think that I did exceptionally well, considering the fact that I'm not an esthetician. You know, I feel like I just had, you know, trouble with my client. It all varies in the client. Hey y'all, so basically, I'm just showing y'all how my Wednesday went for the most part. Um, I caught up on some YouTube. I'm not gonna lie to y'all, I really don't watch TV like that. I know it's weird, but like the last thing I can just say I actually watched and enjoyed was Abbott Elementary. Like I'm not into reality TV or nothing like that. But after the morning, I was on big sister duty. So I went to my little brother meet and I had to drive out there. Chow, country roads and me, we not cool. That's all I'ma say. But when I got back, of course, I had to make some shea butter. I had ran out and I had ran out of my tree hut shea butter too. So I was just like, might as well make my own. That's why I bought it anyway. I really think I'm gonna try to go like the next two months just making my own. And just see if I see like any, I don't know, any improvements in my skin. Because I'm always research, ugh, researching natural products. But that's how it came out. I had an amazing shower. And yeah, we finna catch up. Hey, Betty's and Ruins. So it is Sunday. And um, yeah, some time has passed. Me and Angel went to a Dallas Wings game yesterday.
we won and we're going to the playoffs so like it was a good night and i'm a sucker for stadium food so it was a lot of people in there looking at me crazy eating them hot fries with them chips but um as you can see i redid the front of my head a little bit but i'm gonna take me a good shower so i can get out talk to y'all give y'all a little a little life update you know because it's been a minute since i done did one of these things and i gotta keep y'all in the loop so give me like whatever however many seconds it is for y'all just know it's probably like 10 to 15 minutes for me all right okay y'all so this is what's going now first of all i started recording i had a whole like 10 or so minutes <laughs> recorded of me talking Child, why was it blurry? This is why we gotta save up for that camera. I know it can happen with camera, but I just feel like it wouldn't happen if I had a camera. So, I'm gonna do everything all over again. Nah, it's not gonna be all over again. Y'all know I'll be talking off the top of my head. But um, basically, I'm gonna give y'all an update on my life spiritually, mentally, and physically. So, let's get into it, okay? So, spiritually, I'm good, y'all. <laughs> like, um, the only thing I can really say I've been struggling with spiritually is reading my Bible consistently like I used to. But outside of that, I've been going to church. I didn't start going to Bible study. Your girl actually enjoys it. Like, I don't know why, but I thought it was going to be like, I thought it was going to be boring for the longest until I realized it was people my age up in there. Um, and that's also what I like about my church because, you know, they got the different age groups and everything. I know a lot of other churches do it too. But, you know, it's, I'm comfortable. That's, that's the main thing. I'm comfortable. Um, I'm, I don't have nothing to complain about spiritually. I'm literally, I am blessed, okay? Like, I'm blessed for real. Um, the other day, I was talking to my best friend, and I was just like, this is the first time ever that, I literally feel like I'm walking in my purpose, like, and not like baby steps. Like, I feel like I'm taking big steps into my purpose. Um, this internship that I got, looking back on the video that I made in May about me being in my isolation season and everything, and fast forwarding now in September, if you asked me back then, I would not be saying that. I'm on an internship doing content creation. I just, I know I wouldn't be saying it. I probably would have been like, I mean, everybody want me to go get a job. And I might as well go to somebody's office. This is like really bothering me. Um, but yeah, I probably would have been like, yeah, I'm probably going to go to somebody's office. Miserable. Working a regular 9 to 5. There's nothing wrong with 9 to 5. But like. When I say nine to five in this sense, I mean, like, just sitting at a computer all day. I am a person that needs to be active. I need to be up and doing something. I can't sit down all day. I'm sorry. That's not me. I don't believe that's the life that God has for me either. Um, But, like, I'm enjoying what I do. I've been praying, going to sleep uh, after I pray, like, getting trying to get back consistent with like i said reading my bible and everything but church has been good every single week something hits me and even if i'm not boohoo crying i still take something from the uh, message i think it's under my eye <clears throat> okay hmm. i don't know what it is but i hope i'm okay <laughs> but I really am blessed. I'm waking up doing what I love to do. Like with no, there's no restriction on my creativity either. And I think I've talked about this on the channel before, but like I originally went to school for fashion design and I feel like it was so many like, it wasn't what I thought it was going to be. And I feel like it was restrictions on what I could do and all that stuff. I get it. You got to go through your basics and everything. But it just wasn't for me, and that's completely fine. But like in this setting, I feel like I'm I'm in full control. 
you know i can research what i want to on content creation take it with me and make something new i actually enjoy editing my youtube videos like god had better plans that's all i can say god had better plans god knew what i needed before i even thought the thought of stepping into content creation for real for real um but yeah i'm blessed as far as my spiritual life i am blessed me and guy we like this and we're gonna stay like this throughout my whole career hopefully and prayerfully like i'm walking in his footsteps uh so that's it spiritually you know now we gotta go over to emotionally i mean mentally that's kind of they kind of the same they're like cousins i gotta make sure this is focused because don't want to re relapse hold on let me yeah okay um so mentally i'm not gonna lie y'all i am good spiritually but mentally i have been having my day it's like it's, i've been it's been an inward battle like girl get up that's literally what i've been having to tell myself for like these last couple of weeks but it's not like I'm not in a bad mental state. It's more so me getting adjusted to work and, you know, it's like kind of like freelancing almost basically. So, it there's a consistent schedule as far as our meetings and everything. But as far as the projects that I have to take on and stuff like that, it's like it can be scattered throughout the week. So, I'm trying to get that in order and another reason I said it's like, girl, get up. Child, when it comes to the gym... I've been going, I've been going consistently, but it's not at the time I want. So it's been like a, a mental battle as far as like, do you want, do you really want it that bad? And um, I'm going to keep stepping back and make sure that it's focused. But <laughs> um, it's more so on some, is this really what you want? Like, you want it that bad, but you know, you, you sitting over here lollygagging. You could be researching some stuff. You could be hitting up some people and networking. It's that type of thing. But overall, mentally, I am good. You know, it's just, you got to tell yourself to get up some days. And there's nothing wrong with that. Um, I even, I, I haven't even been listening to music like that, y'all. Like, that should just show y'all how, how life is. Like, it's, there's a... Not to sound cliche, but I do feel like there's a shit going on in my life. And I'm I'm doing good though. Like going through the shift. I've been journaling and stuff, you know, taking down my daily, what's going on daily. Um been talking to my camera. All of this stuff really does keep my mental health in order though. Like it keeps me grounded to not say too many words. Um Especially that on top of going to the gym. So, like, it all it all falls in line together. And, honestly, that's how I know when I'm... That's how I know when I'm good and when I'm not. Like, if I'm having a consistent routine and stuff like that, then, yeah, my mental health is A1. <laughs> right now, I'm doing good with everything that I said I'm going to do daily. It's just more so gather and structure around all of those things so this week is my get back week the rest of the month i'm trying to be consistent as far as having that structure in my life and just really um enforcing and envisioning the things that i want for myself in the future like when adrian is moved out <laughs> i was just like more afraid about this today but like so what does a regular Sunday look like for me? Like, I need to get into that mentality. What, like, am I am I going and doing yoga or something, and then coming home, relaxing and making dinner and having dinner by six? Like, what does that look like? Am I doing a deep clean every weekend? Am I going out with my friends every weekend? Like, it's just those type of questions that I'm going to ask myself that I'm really just trying to, I'm trying to, envision her before i become her if that makes sense you know because you gotta take them steps it's not all just gonna happen overnight so mentally i'm good so spiritually i'm blessed i'm good 
mentally i am good we taking baby steps to get back on track but i'm still good you know okay so as far as physically goes going back to sorry y'all i feel my lips getting dry and i like, no. um going back to the video i made in may i went to the doctor around that time and i lost 15 pounds over the course of um i guess them first well probably that previous six months all i know is i lost 15 pounds and i wasn't okay with that at all i was so scared when i was like is that the right weight and the nurse was like yes and i said okay so i've been on a mission to gain that weight back uh now i know what y'all saying you look good you know it's nothing wrong but um like i just and you know i, I could have this could be my main weight that i'm supposed to be all i know is that was a drastic change of events and i hadn't even been working out right so i knew it had something to do with my mental health and how i had been what i had been doing my eating habits and all that so basically um and like i'm gonna say late july no well i was i, I was going to the gym consistently in june and july in august so like these last three months i've been doing good but um i'm trying to get my eating like back onto that that healthy healthy side like i eat healthy now but there was a point where i was eating kale and a kale veggie mix for breakfast like every other day i was eating omelets i wasn't just eating like too too much bread y'all know i love bread i love me some sweets there was a point where they weren't the cravings wasn't as high okay i had it under control but um yeah so like i've been doing good physically i'm going to the gym uh i up my weight if y'all been watching my health as well series Y'all know, uh, as far as legs, like, I be, I be doing good. I'm pushing my weight. Um, I'm trying to think of what else it is. Oh, I'm really trying to, <laughs> I'm really trying to, uh, get back into drinking protein shakes and stuff like that. Cause I have been on the fence about whether I want to bulk or not. Like, right now my main focus is getting back cut. Cause your girl used to be cut in her arms and her back and one thing about me i like looking good i might not be the strongest but trust and believe i'm gonna look strong okay and that's what matters so we're trying to get back to that um y'all i really do a little working out like i was doing crossfit training and all that i didn't play sports my whole life i don't think it's ever gonna leave me but uh I've been on the fence about bulking, so I've been on my research on whether it's worth it or not. And then I told my daddy about it, and he was just like, some people, they get into it, and then they can't come back. And I'm just like, all right, daddy. All right. I just won't. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I went on a tangent, but I always go on tangents with y'all. I'm in good, though. Like, you know that TikTok where he be like, hey, I'm better. I'm better, Sean. This is not uh this is not butter buds, this is Jermaine buds or whatever you say. That's how I've been feeling. Life been good. Um if anybody know my best friend know everything, how I've been how I've been changing over these last couple of months. Life has been good. It's been treating me well. Nothing, nobody, you know. Nobody on this earth owes me anything. Like life has been good. I've been taking it a day at a time. I'm really just trying to stay true to myself through all this, on this journey that I'm on, that I'm documenting and showing people that I'm probably never even gonna meet. Nah, I'm gonna meet y'all. I'm gonna be big and I'm gonna be like, look, uh, my subscribers need first dibs. But um, I've been doing good. Life is good. I'm getting back into art how I used to when I was younger. Um, I've been drawing. I'm about to get back into painting. I've been reading again. Um, I'm jumping back into a lot of the things I loved as a child. Like, I'm very, very excited for this holiday season. 
I can't tell you how long it's been since I've been this excited. Like yesterday, I almost cried looking at a tweet. And it was like, um, point of view, it's the early 2000s and y'all are about to get out for Christmas break. And I was just like, but overall, I'm good. I love you guys. I hope y'all have a good week this week. I'm your host, Adrian Simpson. Better known as G. And um, this has been Life with G. I'll see y'all in the next video. Stay free.